tracks. Patrols on the roads looking out even more than normal for drivers going too fast and driving dangerously. So many crashes lately. Indiana taking part in this six state speed awareness day. It's an enforcement campaign. Eric Pointer spoke to IMPD about it. He joins us now live on the northwest side sharing what officers say they are hoping to accomplish today. Eric, we want to start with we saw you in commercial break and let's just say you've got moves. <laughs> yeah, uh, we played a great song in the commercial break and I could not resist. I had to <laughs> just just give into it. But, uh, you know, just speaking to that song, I remember blasting it in the car on the radio, which is something that may be happening to these drivers out here on the road. And when they're blasting their music, they don't need to speed this operation today. Officers say that they don't want to just be writing tickets, right? They want to take this opportunity to educate drivers on the importance of slowing down, even when you're blasting your music and enjoying your song. So, uh, you know, federal grants were given to law enforcement agencies agencies to pay for overtime patrols throughout the day. It's happening in Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Wisconsin. We know both nationally and here in Indiana there have been a drastic increase in crashes and speed related accidents that started during the pandemic. So 2020 saw an 18% increase in people who lost their lives on the road in crashes that involved speeding. And just this past weekend in Indianapolis, there were several deadly crashes. So IMPD is hoping that this operation today will help to reduce that. You can tell over the weekend we had um, several um, accidents that resulted in fatalities. And so hopefully our agency participating in this particular grant will somewhat curb some of that and, and be more of an informative piece um, to uh, allow our officers to address uh, um, speeders. They are also looking out for more than just speeding, things like impaired driving, not wearing a seatbelt, and other dangerous driving behaviors. And law enforcement says that speeding will increase the potential that you would lose control of your car. So they say if you're driving and you encounter a speeder, they recommend that you kind of slow down and steer out of their way to give yourself that extra distance. Live here on the Northwest Side, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.